Hello, and welcome to another episode of Yummy BSB with me, Chef Peter Soulsby. Today, it's all about healthy eating and how we can get five portions of fruit and vegetables into our daily diet. We're gonna make a pasta salad. Let's go through the ingredients and the equipment. I've got 50 grams of pasta per person. I'm using penne pasta, but you could use any type of pasta you have at home in the cupboard. My salad ingredients, I've got a pepper, cucumber, tomatoes, sweet corn, olives, and some ham. This recipe is really good. If you don't like something, you can change it to something else. There's no right or wrong with what ingredients go in this pasta salad. The dressings, I'm gonna give you a few different options. I've got some mayonnaise, or you could just use olive oil on its own. I've also got some salt and pepper for some seasoning. The equipment, very easy what you need. I have my knife, my colander, my pan, my spoon, and also my bowl. Step one, you need to cook your pasta. So take your pasta into your pan, and we're just gonna fill up our pan using boiling water from the kettle, and you wanna fill your pan half full. It's now time to cook our pasta. The time it takes to cook will depend on what type of pasta you're using. So just check on the back of the packet of pasta. Once your pasta is cooked, very carefully, take it over to your sink with your colander. And all we're gonna do is tip the pasta into the colander and drain all the water off. Once you've drained the pasta, all we're gonna do is run the cold water tap and count 20 seconds. That is just gonna cool the pasta down, ready for when we need it. Nineteen twenty. Now all you're gonna do is pop the pasta back into your pan and just put it to one side for later. Step two, we're gonna chop our tomatoes in half. Today's main focus is on knife skills. Whatever knife you decide to use, you need to be confident. A small one, a medium, or a large. I'm gonna use a large knife today. I'm just gonna put these to one side. Our first knife skill is called the bridge. It is a very safe way of holding vegetables, fruits, meat, so we don't cut our fingers or hurt ourselves. Very simple, thumb and two fingers, that holds whatever you're chopping. That goes on the chopping board, your knife goes under the bridge, then all we do is slice in half. A really good tip is to make sure you've got a really sharp knife. A lot of people think blunt knives are safer, but it's not true. Sharp knives just glide through whatever you're chopping, and it's a lot safer than a blunt one. So again, take your tomato, your bridge, and just slice. And once we've chopped all our tomatoes in half, they just go in our bowl. Step three, we're now gonna chop our pepper and our spring onions. You only need half a pepper, so we're gonna use our bridge to chop our pepper in half. So again, thumb, two fingers, 
Hold the pepper nice and steady. Take your knife, remember the super glue on the end, and just push through in half. And the middle bit of the pepper here, we don't want, so we're just gonna put, take that out, all the seeds and any of the yellow inside, and pop that straight into the bin. To slice the pepper, we're gonna use the other word I talked about, which was the claw. The claw, again, it's how we hold whatever we're chopping. It is called a claw because it's basically a claw. We need to make sure the tops of our fingers are bent under our knuckles, and that stops the knife from cutting your fingers. So hold, and you can use your little finger and your thumb to hold whatever you're cutting, in this case, the pepper, nice and sturdy. And we're just gonna, again, super glue on the end and push the knife through. Move your fingers out of the way as you chop. So super glue on, nice claw, and we've put it into slices. Now we need to dice it. So we're just gonna take one at a time, and we're gonna dice it into little pieces. So again, that claw holds whatever we're chopping in place. Take your knife, super glue on, and we're just gonna rock the knife through. If you look at my knife, my knife is in contact with the chopping board all the time. You go as slow or as fast as you feel comfortable. Once your pepper is sliced, we're just going to pop that into our bowl. We're going to chop our spring onions. Again, we're going to use that claw to hold the spring onion. The top of the spring onion, you don't want to use. So we're just going to take that off and pop in the bin. Then again, using that claw, make sure your nails are tucked under and your thumb and little finger are holding. Super glue on, and we'll just push through. Again, you go as slow as you want. By using this way of chopping, you don't need brilliant knife skills to get different cuts that look really good. So top of the knife on, super glue, push the knife through. Once you've chopped your spring onion, just pop it into your bowl. Step four, we're now gonna chop our cucumber. So take your knife, remember your super glue, put your pointy end on the top of the cucumber, your bridge, and we're gonna chop the cucumber in half long ways. Now, we're going to put it flat side down so it's nice and firm. And we're going to go in, super glue on the end, bridge, and in half again, long ways. And the same with the other half. And we're going to put each half back together. And again, super glue on the end. Using our claw, we're just going to slice nice and fine, or as fine as you can get, our cucumber. So one more time, take your two quarters of a cucumber, put them back together, your claw, make sure your nails are tucked under, thumb and little finger holding the cucumber firm, top of the knife where your super glue is, on and just push through. It's that rocking motion you really want to practice. And these two bridge and claw you will use for every type of food you chop. And once you've chopped up your cucumber, it goes in the bowl. We 
We've got a fantastic contrast of colours in there so far. The next ingredient we're going to chop up is our ham. Because it's meat, I'm using a separate chopping board. But remember, ham is already cooked. So I've got two slices. Again, I'm just going to roll it up really tightly. Again, using your claw, take your knife, super glue on the end of the knife, push the knife through. Super glue on the end, push the knife through. And we're just slicing it as thinly as you can. Take your time. Then if we want to get our ham even thinner, I'm going to show you a really cool technique. This is called the rock chop. You can use this rock chop for getting any vegetable meat or fruit really finely chopped. It takes no skill at all. Anyone can do it. So we're going to go down with our super glue on the end. Then our other hand, it goes on the top of your knife like this. And we're just going to rock chop around like that. See, this part of the knife is not leaving the chopping board. Bring your hand back together, chop up again. And can you see? We've got beautifully sliced ham. Once you've done that, it goes into your bowl. And we get rid of our meat chopping board. Step six. We're just going to put in the last of our salad ingredients. I've got 25 grams of sweet corn, that just goes into my bowl. And I've also got about five olives. We're just going to roughly chop the olives, just using the technique we've just learned, the rock chop. So remember, your super glue goes down, this hand on the top of the knife, and we just rock the knife up and down. Bring them back together, and one more time, round we go. And there you go, you have beautifully diced olives. We'll just get those up and they go into our bowl. Step seven. Now we've got all our ingredients chopped up in our bowl, we're ready to add in our pasta. Now give it a really good mix with your spoon. It's really important we season our food with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a pinch of salt and a little pinch of pepper. If you wanted to, you could put some fresh herbs in there and also some chili, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. Give that one more stir. Step eight. Now it's time to dress our pasta salad. In the recipe, I've given you two choices of dressing. I've got some mayonnaise, or you could use salad cream. I've also got some olive oil. Other options, you could use pesto, but my favorite, I'm gonna go with olive oil today. You need three tablespoons of olive oil. So one, two, three. Give it one final stir. Make sure all of the pasta is coated in the olive oil. Now it's time to serve. So there we have our plated pasta salad with our five a day in. The main skills I would like to take away from today's lesson involving the knife are the bridge, the claw, super glue, and the rock chop. Yummy BSB pasta salad, done.